collect stardust, retrace ancient zodiac signs, and win awesome rewards in autumn zodiac. The stellar moon bear and many other great prizes await. But before we explore the wonders of this event, please make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss anything new in Elvenar. My friend, did you see? A year has passed and the zodiacs of autumn are forming again. You should ask Kirit and Krarok, the gods of night fruit and sun harvest, to lend us their aid in exploring the divine realms. I am certain that new discoveries await in their mysterious spheres. During the Autumn Zodiac event, you will want to collect as many golden keys as possible as they allow you to win many great rewards. The first and easiest way to obtain golden keys is to play daily. Lisal offers you some golden keys on every new day of the event. While you have the quest panel open, also check out the other event quests that are available to you. Each completed quest gives you additional golden keys and brings you closer to reaching quest milestones, which contain additional golden keys, as well as your very own moon bear pet, which we will get to later. Another great option is to simply collect the golden keys in the outskirts of your city where they can appear at random. Finally, there is a chance to win some golden keys back from the very spheres that you opened them with. Once you have obtained some golden keys, you can open spheres and uncover the secrets therein. Spheres require different amounts of golden keys to be opened and contain various rewards, including the daily exclusives, unit instance, instance, or more golden keys. Each time you open a sphere, you also cause precious stardust to ooze out and light up the zodiac formations on the night sky. Complete a formation to unlock the next grand prize in the event. These grand prizes range from knowledge, points, instants, and relics to the new moon bear artifacts. See this zodiac formation? We call it the Bears of Generations because its shapes resembles a family of bears. The stardust sparkles especially bright in the stars forming the bear cone. I wonder if the sky means to signal us something. Moon bear artifacts are very valuable as they give you the opportunity to evolve and grow your very own moon bear pet. After completing at least five quests of the event, you unlock the first quest milestone, a magical sphere containing a moon bear cub. Your goal is to raise this tiny cub to one of the strongest and most powerful bears you have ever seen. To achieve this, you need to collect moon bear artifacts, which are then used to increase the stage of this pet creature. It will thank you by unlocking and improving several bonuses for your city with each new stage of its evolution, including sentient goods in higher chapters. Fascinating beings, these moon bears, but quite demanding too. Make sure to treat them well, and I'm sure you will not regret it. Moon bears are very hungry creatures. Fortunately, you can feed them with pet food, which can be crafted in the Magic Academy. Pet food appears frequently in the list of available crafting recipes and requires relics and combining catalysts to be produced. Once you feed any pet with pet food, a special feeding effect gets activated. For the moon bear, this feeding effect lasts for 24 hours and causes neighborly help chests to grant additional knowledge points. The amount of knowledge points increases with higher stages of this evolving building, giving you even more reason to fully evolve this beautiful creature. Did you know that the moon bear is not alone? Stories of many other bears have been shared for generations, and some even say that they have been graced by their presence before. Let's keep investigating the spheres. I'm sure we will find out more. The moon bear is not the only bear that has ever roamed the realms of Elvenar. In last year's Autumn Zodiac event, it was possible to obtain the brown bear, polar bear, and panda bear pets. If you did not have the opportunity to obtain them yet, now is your chance. Their spheres still sometimes appear, albeit rarely, in the crafting tab of the Magic Academy, from where you can craft them. The brown polar and panda bears are like brothers to the moon bear, 
but they evolve a little differently. While the moon bear requires moon bear artifacts to develop its full potential, these same artifacts won't work on the other three bears as they only react to bear artifacts. That is why, for a limited time only, you can convert two moon bear artifacts into one bear artifact in the crafting tab of the Magic Academy. Choose wisely which bear you want to raise and then act fast as the conversion recipes will disappear soon after the event ends. At some point in the quest line, you may reach a point at which the next quest is locked. That is because there is only a set amount of quests available from day one of the event, with one additional quest getting added each new event day. Once you have caught up and finished all available quests, you will see a timer that shows you when the next quest will be unlocked. With the help of these additional quests, you will be able to complete the final quest milestone on the last day of the event. Join us in the Autumn Zodiac event and raise your own bear pets. We are looking forward to your feedback in the comments below, on social media, or in our dedicated Elvenar forums. See you around.